If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Are you sure? Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah, it was right here. Are, are, are you sure? Like, are, are, are you you're gonna commit to that answer, right? Listen, I don't see how anything else has changed. You you not yep yeah, you, you you don't see how anything else has changed, huh? I don't. I should. Was I holding anything the whole time? I guess I what? Wait. No. Was I supposed to be holding something? I mean, your phone for puzzles, but. Uh, oh yeah, actually, I actually just have my phone out. Uh, hey, welcome back, VLR Dango Duo. Uh, Kitty has not figured it out yet. No, of course not. But Fi has, so let's uh, figure out what she is. Let's see. Wait, what? Kitty? I don't get it. You don't get it? Oh! Interesting. Wait, haven't we not noticed that before? <laughs> no way. Oh, it's over there. That's why. Oh, no, wait. Didn't they just take it away? Uh... Well, th didn't the game establish something else, Kitty? Yeah, the crane. They can move it. Yeah. Obviously. Let's advance. The AB room moved. Yeah. Was it that crane? Probably. No, I was busting the yeah, other. Just fucking lifted it. Yeah, they he's big the and strong. Mm -hmm. All the way to the left. He grows stronger every day. Yep. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? Is that where the body was? Oh yeah. The body of the old woman. And they moved in. <laughs> and who was trapped in there when the nonary game started? We thought it was Kay and Clover. Well, it would have been the A room on the right at first, so. Luna. Oh. For the third time, Phi walked off without saying anything. My body felt like lead, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that began two milkmen. What do you think this is? Blood? Well, I thought it was just paint from the graffiti at first, but I'm guessing you don't think so. Is that more of the old woman's blood? Seems like it. So Luna would have so Luna would have killed her here, then taken her to the rightmost AB room. After that, she would have moved the room with the body in it so that no one would suspect her. That would mean the first person to get out was Luna, not Alice. <laughs> so what about that handkerchief? This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old. You can actually literally see like the yeah the edge of some sort of like weapon blade. Blade so like object. So maybe wrapped the weapon with his handkerchief, and then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved, it came out. Couldn't she move it again, like an idiot? That means Alice picked, the, picked up the weapon along with the handkerchief. Oh, is that the knife that's sticking Seems out of her? Likely. Oh, you, you're sharp, Kitty. This is all just speculation, understand? Okay. There are a whole lot of things we still <clears throat> don't know. Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. This is a job for the Scooby Gang. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, my God. Row, row. What's your murder? Oh my god. What? See, I love that. Like, I was like, oh, who's gonna be Scooby? No, just Scooby's in here. Mm hmm. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? We're going to murder Scrappy. Oof. Oh. I. No, no, Scrappy wasn't annoying. I'm like, I didn't mind him. No, he was no. annoying. No, for, no one likes Scrappy. For example. Yeah, no. Listen. Why would Luna leave the AB room under the murder the old woman? Become a patron of Dango Duo, mm. and then carry the body back and, and hide it in the same room. Listen, I don't care if you're a murderer if, if you spoil <laughs> us on Patreon. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> That's a rough one. Kitty's thinking, just quietly sipping her drink. Listen, listen. I mean, I don't advise it, but... Oh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy that you're not condoning. No. You know, you murder people... 
Hey, that's that's that sucks. That's, but if you glitch not... Dango Duo, that doesn't suck. So, yeah, so it's a wash. It's kind of evens out. <laughs> Fucking terrible. You're welcome. No wonder YouTube is demonetizing these videos. Yeah. I guess it's possible she just wanted to hide the body, but we still don't have any idea why why she would have wanted to kill her in the first place. We have no motive. Yeah, I'm sure there's a motive. They do kind of dress similarly. It's also worth noting that Sierra Jr. seems to have led all this slide. He's supposed to be making sure the game goes according to plan, but... So far, there have been two murderers, and he hasn't done anything about either of them. Do you think that means Luna is, se is Sierra Sr.? Even if she was, though, I'm not sure why she killed the old woman. It's possible that she... W was some kind of intruder who wasn't supposed to be here, but... If, Lu if Luna is Zero Senior, couldn't she have found a better place to hide the body? She would have access to the entire facility. That's not all either. She's not paying attention. That's fair. Let's say Luna moved the AB room to divert suspicion away from herself. If that's the case, why did she leave the handkerchief and the weapon there? She had to have known that they will be discovered after she moved the room. Yeah. Besides, when and how did she operate that crane? Move that crane! Luna was with us since we first got out of the AB rooms all the way till we- when we found the old lady's body. You, me, and her went through the magenta door mm. and investigated the lounge. Mm. Then we went down to the- to floor B together and came back to the warehouse. By then, the room must have moved, so this is something I want to clear up right now. Mm. In 999, and in a lot of kind of like branching path stories, there's a lot of like, um, how do I say this? Uh, you get, you witness all of the same events just with some changed text. Mm. That doesn't happen in this game. Yeah. The things that happen have context and like the routes become wildly different depending on, you know, the pa the paths you take. Yeah. So th Which this, makes sense this is what's happening now because you sided with Luna at every intersection. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Makes Consequences. Sense. That's fair. Oh, of course! Huh, why didn't I see that sooner? Luna has an alibi. She couldn't have moved the AB room. This text is very large. We are her alibi. Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. Wait. What? You didn't even put up a fight. You're going to make me repeat myself. Yes. I never said Luna was the killer. Still... I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Oh. You mean that stuff she said about what she noticed? Right. I don't remember. I don't remember either, but it's fine. It's fine. Two milkmen go comedy. Hey, um, Fi. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get a really bad feeling about this. Just now, that we're in the middle of this death game. Uh, we spent 20 minutes just talking about random bullshit. It's like 18, but still. We're supposed to meet the others 20 minutes ago, but there's no one here. You're right. Huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Sigma. Buff Senators! Senators! Fi, there you are. Hey. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Oh. Luna. Eh. Uh. Luna is dead. What? She's in room two in the crew quarters, the same room where Alice was murdered. Uh, uh, I guess we're just. I I have a feeling we're just gonna continue a trend from nine nine nine, where a certain person just kills a bunch of people. I I just ellipsed in real life. That's fair. I just gave you big ellipses. Okay. This was the third time I had touched the body and felt cold skin. The first one was this girl I dated. Damn, she was cold. Yep. I thought it might get easier, but I, it had only gotten worse. I didn't think I'd ever get used to it, but I didn't want to. My hands began to shake, and I tried to, s to steady them as I pressed a pair of fingers to her neck to check for, her, for a pulse. Nothing, of course. Of course! Luna was dead. Her eyes were flat and empty, the pupils dilated in what could have been terror. What's this? Hmm. It felt... surreal. Like I might blink and then she would sit up again. 
She would smile and blush and look away nervously, and everything would be all right, and she would be boys for Laura Bailey. Bailey. It'd be beautiful. And it would be beautiful. I blinked. She lay there, still, dead, and pale. Still hot, though. Still hot. I'll still tap that. Tap that ass. I trust you. <laughs> That's a mistake. Fair. You don't trust people. Yeah, fair. Life advice from Dango Duo. Grief cracked open like an egg, and rage clambered out, hot and angry and screaming. It is true that grief is the eggshells around rage. Mm -hmm. That line makes absolutely complete sense. Sure. It clawed at the inside of my chest and pounded at the back of my eyes. Mm. I squeezed them shut and ground my teeth. No tears. My hands balled into fists so they might so so tight they hurt. I'm no, no tears, big rugby player. No tears. Yeah, yeah. There's no crying in rugby. Yep. I took a deep breath and opened my eyes again. Another breath. I stood up and realized Kay was talking. I believe she was poisoned. See here. This device is some sort of syringe. Mm. I think it's called an injection gun. <laughs> I was gonna be like, yeah, I had one of those. I did not actually have <laughs> one of those. It was a pen. Oh, that's that's are cool. Modern tech no it was not cool. Modern technology. Well, it was actually better than the syringe, but yeah. modern technology still sucks. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of How like, about like in these bracelets. Lemon lime soda. You don't want that. Mm, lemon lime soup. No, you want coffee. Oh, right into your veins? That sounds like it would kill you. So would lemon lime soda. Ah, but it would be tasty though. So would coffee. I mean, it's I mean you're not wrong. Listen. Not the shitty coffee we make every day. <laughs> it's always so watery. I don't know what how to fix it. Yeah, add, add more coffee. I feel like the answer would be less water. That too. Okay, I'll, I'll add more coffee. Well, you say the word, boss. I'll yep. make it real spicy. The label on the vial says tubocurarine. Didn't we know that drug? No, that's not Soporel. I know. The, but... the muscle relaxant. Yeah. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. Ooh. All of it. Ooh, yeah, listen, like, muscle relaxants in small dosage, not yeah. in big dosage. Yeah. I used to have to use that to get to sleep. Make. I believe it is safe to After your that is where yeah. Yeah. Our attacker injected the drug. Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Carotid <laughs> artery is not. Yeah, the maybe right it's a British pr pronunciation. Maybe. <laughs> what about the others? Should I go get them? No, never mind. Mm. Mm. I want to get your story first. What do you mean? When you left us, you and Luna went off together, right? Yes. But when we talked to Dio downstairs, he said he had only seen you, not Luna. Luna Why is that? Split up as soon as we got to floor B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. All right. Wow, so he is such a late? senata. Fuck. Yeah. What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was resuscitating. Um. Resuscitating. Let me explain how I found her. I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting time. You had yet to show up, as had Luna. I mm. believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. Some minutes later, there. I heard right. something. Right. <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, I have it tilted, so it's. If if I if I may, now just remember those five minutes ago we were here in the lounge oh yeah we were coming out yeah so literally you can imagine us as we were doing here he went to go here because this is literally where, mm. where where she is or yeah no it's yeah because these are closed so it has to be literally here yep and he was standing right here. right there it came from behind the cyan door and sounded like a woman's scream well it was actually quite faint this big big metal yeah ship, so it was several doors away after all and as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said, or even if I had heard it at all. It seemed entirely Mr. possible that I'd imagined. Mr. Zero Senior is. <laughs> is. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> oh shit! I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following the scream. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. As I entered the hallway, I noticed that the door to room two was slightly ajar. That would be... This one. That one. 
That was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. So you're saying you spent a good 20 minutes trying to resuscitate her? Yes. I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurarine. Her heart had stopped, so I attempted CPR. To the best of my abilities, at least. Mm. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Why didn't you tell us? He didn't know you were there. Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. As you know, even a short time without oxygen can yep. cause serious brain damage. I felt time was of the essence, but... Aww. Hey, how much time passed between when you heard the scream and when you came in here and found her? I'm afraid I can't say exactly, but I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. Then they had three minutes to escape. That would have been plenty of time. Yeah, because they could go. Yeah, uh, well, uh, I like that we're both looking at... On the 3DS, it was a little harder, but mm. here it's like, we can actually be like, well... Because, like, if, we he's, if they kill him in here, and they go, whoop, whoop. Yeah, and then I mean, there's also the possibility them down, of them... And then around, and then... I mean, there's also a possibility of hiding in rooms, waiting for people to pass. Fair. But yeah, yeah, like, like they could have, like, looped around through the lounge, they could have, like, gone all the but way we around. We would have seen them in the yeah. lounge, so, Yeah. but they, so either they way, probably... They, they either went down or they would have moved over here, so. Yeah, but we would have seen them, so yeah. they probably Pl went Plenty of time, though. Yep. When you leave this room, immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. Mm hmm I assume they left that way. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No. I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Um, may I say something? I mean, yeah, sure. Can you? I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna, but there was something I wanted to point out. Huh. Look at Alice. Do you notice anything? All right, she's right over oh, there. She's right over there. <laughs> it's true. Oh, do you notice something, Kitty? Nope. Uh, is there cloth? Is, is this ripped now? No. The weapon. <laughs> oh, right. Her knife is gone. It's gone. <laughs> Indeed. The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. Then did the killer take it? How would I know? <laughs> Maybe they took it before Luna was murdered. Why are you asking me? <laughs> I'm just stating I'm a just fact. just stating what I... Well, possibilities. A possible if they, fact. If, if they had it, why not use it to kill Luna? Mm. Mm. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> what? Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which of these two methods would you use? I wouldn't kill anyone. This is hypothetical. I would choose the injection gun. Right? Most people would choose that. Yeah, I guess so. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing, the and easier blood. it is to kill someone. There's a big difference between stabbing someone and injecting them with poison. I mean, if it's any respite, I have a feeling that Luna didn't feel much pain. Fair. So you're saying they took the knife before they killed her? Your body would just completely relax into yeah. oblivion. Mm. No. Into the other scrolls. Either way, yeah. they could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. Could they have done that in the three minutes before Kay got here? Oh, it's not impossible. Oh, it's super possible. Three minutes is longer than you think. Yeah, sixty seconds is pretty long. Oh, tell me, I sure know a lot about it. Hey, oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, actually, so I got a promotion at my work. Um, so now I can, well, once my keys get here, I'm an officially a key holder so I can close and open the building by myself. I have a corp. Yeah, but uh, I've been practicing because I have somebody here there who has the keys, but I have the codes to get the alarm to lock. Oh. And um, let me just tell you, you have 90 seconds to get out of the building before... Um, the alarm like actually like activates yeah so it is it is kind of like it's weird to think about like you gotta hurry but it's also like enough time yeah 90 seconds is a long time yeah it, it's it's a fair chunk of time so it's yeah. like oh, all right that's how long it was hmm it's true yeah. actually uh, no, no it would be 180 seconds kidding you're right so twice as long twice as long see there we go anyway fun facts yeah we came here to get alice's bracelet and then Kay came by later there was probably about a 30 minute window Anyone could have taken it. 
Yeah. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. That's or fair. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. Smell! I've got a feeling. And if we don't know, we really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning, and that's not good. I really like how fucking like any evidence are useless. Fair. Utilitarian bias. Like no, no, no. Listen, we don't have motive. We don't have evidence. Feelings are just chemicals in your brain. Truth. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Save that brain space for something more useful. Oh, but we're not that. So hey, kitty. I don't know. You want to throw some shots in the dark, kitty? Axe ending. Oh, is that? Oh, yet. Yeah. He enters at the door. Mm. You gonna go get him? You wanna come in, babe? He wants <laughs> to come in. Okay, alright. Hey there, everybody. Come on in, sweet boy. Kitty's like axe ending, and I'm like, this game has like fucking so come many here. endings. Come here. Come here. Come in, Yanto, you ass. He's not sure. Kitty, please get him before he tries to hop into the recording come equipment. On the bag, please. Put him on the bed. Put him on my towel. You love the towel. Oh, he's a big boy who loves the oh, towel. Oh, he's a big kitty. Put him on the towel. Hold on, I'm trying to sit down. <laughs> he hates it. He hates it when you hold him. I know. That's why I love it. Hey, Yanto. Can you say hi to everybody? Hey. Hey, Yanto, can you say something? You were just talking. Yeah, bum. Hey, guys, if you don't know what our cat looks like, he's a Russian blue. He's big and fat he's and gray fat and a baby. He's fat and gray, and he's a baby. He's got a baby face he's and everything. Okay, put him... Actually, kitty, he's not going to stay on your... Kitty, he's not. Look, he wants... See, he tried to jump right now. That's fine. Come here. Put him on the towel. He loves the towel. Hello. You got a towel on the towel for your baby. He loves sleeping on my towel. Yeah. It's weird. He's a weird cat. He's a cat. Anyway. Well, I Feelings. Think that covers it. We clear? So, wh who do you think did it? Accenting. Good. What does that mean? Who I think anyway. did it. Oh! Oh, I thought you just meant like it was like the accenting. Oh. No, no, that's oh. who I think did it. Oh, oh. Why didn't you just say Clover? Hmm. I was leaving it a mystery. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mystery. <laughs> who do you think did it? Darth Vader. What do you mean? You know? Anakin. Eh. Eh. Oh, that's terrible. You're I hate that yep. you actually like Anakin Skywalker. I do. He's stupid. Yeah. But, but he's good. He's good. Well, he's not good. He's, he's not very good. bad. He's very bad. He killed a bunch of children. Let's never yeah. forget that. Um, what a hero. <laughs> a true unsung hero. Like, listen, the the Star Wars fandoms I have seen on 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 tw on Tumblr on social media they qu they quite like Anakin, and I'm like, oh, did you kind of forget that he killed a bunch of children? What a hero. Someone who hates babies. Hey, let me tell you. So hot, and I'm like, okay, 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 yeah. Listen, listen, well, straight people. Let me tell you. I don't okay. get you. Yeah. Listen, Man. of everyone that's hot in this game, it's Buff Senyata. Buff Senyata's pretty hot. Fi's pretty hot too, though. I see. Luna's pretty hot too. Luna's hot. I see. Alice is hot. Yeah, but she's not gonna fuck you. She's not gonna fuck any of us. She's too good for us. Fair. I see. Fi is like too young. A no, little too young. It's fair, it's fair. So I'm like, mm, no, no, no. Oh, what about Luna, though? Yeah. Not Clover. No, no, she's a baby. Yeah. She's still a baby. She's still a baby. In my she heart. may be a woman. But she's still a baby. But she's still a baby. Okay, let's <laughs> Someone can do the, uh, the percentage of how much story there was in this episode. It's not as a bad. Chunk. It's not as bad as those nine 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 Brooklyn nine 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 episodes. <laughs> Oof. Yep. Or Overwatch lore explained. That's a good episode. Listen. I mean, like, listen, we've got a lot of Overwatch in these 999 VLR. Yeah, it's true, actually. Yeah. And I don't even know anything about Overwatch, really. Yeah. yeah. Except that you Except want that Genji, Genji to... has a penis. And it's uh, a robo penis. Uh, no! should still be there. Hopefully, Tenmyoji and Clover will be there as well. I actually really like the headcanon of, of, uh, of trans boy Genji. That's a good one. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. You got a point. That's a wholesome headcanon, Max. <laughs> Yeah. Once it's time to open that he door. He was rejected by his family, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Well, well, he was a he was a big party boy. Mm. But you can also be a party girl, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll show up. Okay, not at all. Uh, but then like, uh, but then if we do that, then we're gonna have like fucking pre-transition Genji and then Hanzo stuff going on because it's got to because fans are stupid. Yeah, no. They're Tra still siblings. Trans trans boy Genji is good. Yeah. Kane nodded and picked up Luna's bracelet. Please take this with you. Ooh, we get it. 
He held it out to me. Well, it's, that's our partner, Kenny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Yeah, awkward, yeah. I stared down at the bracelet. Uh, it felt wrong to just take it. Like we were just using and abandoning her. Well, she's kind of dead. Is something the matter? You and Fi are the magenta pair. Without the <laughs> green solo bracelet, you won't be able to open the secondary door. Yeah. Truth. Feelings are just emo. <laughs> Feelings are just emotions in your brain. Yeah. Feelings are just chemicals in your brain. Let's wrap up this scene. Okay, that... then read your line. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, it's just. Mm -hmm. He pressed the bracelet gently into my hand. If you don't wish Luna's death to be His robot skin was so nice. Oh, yeah. survive, or do you intend to oh no, please don't give me K Sigma fan fiction. Buff boys. Or do we <laughs> they are buff. Do you intend Oh that's me. That's K. K is me. They're all me. Right. Yes. Except not. Man, wouldn't it be hot if you were Big and buff. Yeah. I saw it. I could lift all the girls. You could lift all the girls. And cats. <laughs> I saw it and closed my hand around the cold metal. What if I could lift a big cat? What if you could like lift a big a... panther or something? Like a, like a bit, yeah, be a, like a tiger. Kitty's so happy right now. Yes. I love Good. them. Shall we go? Itakimasu. Yeah, on the next episode, whoop, 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 We gotta whoop. go open them white doors. Yeah, we gotta open, open them white doors. Open them whiteies. Yeah, yeah. Hey there, everybody. We're Dango Duo. Thank you for tagging along, as always. Uh, remember that in the description down below, there's a bunch of really important links, such as, like, how to subscribe, if Twitter. you want to get our Patreon, our Amazon wish list, and all those things. Uh, we no longer have end slates yep, because thanks, YouTube. Of, of YouTube. So, uh, yeah, if you want to... shit in the description, yeah, not on screen. Consider checking out our Patreon at patreon.com slash Dango Duo to support us and help us make more stuffs. For the time being, thank you for tagging along, thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us, and we'll see you yeah! Next time. I'm bothering you until. Next buff. <gasps> Next buff, Daniela.